What is the role of the Financial Literacy Council and who serves on the council? Well, thank you. Um, and I'm happy to be here tonight and very pleased to be here with these very smart ladies that are part of our work. Um, the Consul was actually created by the General Assembly in one of the recent sessions. And I believe it was probably an acknowledgement of the fact that, that there is, to your earlier point, a lot of folks that really don't understand their personal finances and how much trouble they can get themselves into without building a good budget, watching important things like their taxes, like their mortgage, and how to handle catastrophic events that happen to them, and how to deal with that financially. And so, um, in putting together the console, um, they actually asked us to come up with about 18 names. And Ten of those reflect state agencies, so people that are good public servants, unlike um, these ladies here, um, and actually get those agencies around the table to figure out how can we as your state government better serve our citizens, young and old, to learn about financial literacy and those kind of issues. Um, and so, as I mentioned, about 10 of them come from different agencies like the community college system, the university, the Department of Labor, the Department of Revenue, places like that. Um, in addition, we have eight public members, and those eight members are all people that are very much committed to the issue of financial literacy and making sure people know how to manage their books and finances. Um, now what the consul is charged to do by the legislature and now by the governor is to really try to look at, first of all, what is already available to folks in the K-12 curriculum. Uh, several years ago, there was a requirement that this begin to be taught in the K-12 school system, and they have done that, but we've been charged with looking at that and seeing if we have any other ideas to help financial literacy amongst high school and younger students. So that's kind of the first charge. The second one is to look beyond that and see what else is out there that deals with financial literacy now, try to inventory those things and make them more accessible to people across the state. And so the third part really is an item of outreach in terms of once we figure out exactly what's out there either through state resources or other resources, how can we help make that information available to the folks that live here so they can have all the financial knowledge that they need. Um, so that's kind of our charge. Um, we haven't met very many times yet, so we're just starting out our work, um, but I think I'm very excited about the direction that we're going and some of the exciting ideas that these very committed people have brought to the table. 